So, just lent the car to Ian from Blonaway to do the airport run. Uh, and I've taken the dinghy back from Limanaki Pontoon, which is over there somewhere, to here. Didn't think it was a bad idea after its dip to uh, give the motor a good run anyway. And it's been up for a couple of days. It's a little bit soft, but it's not too bad. And there is Dreskos. So, we're going to crack on. That side's looking a lot better, isn't it? So, I'm going to do the other side and do a bit of polishing. But today, I think, what I'm going to do is prep the engine for lift. Because uh, uh, it's Sunday, Tuesday, I'm going up to Athens to uh, see if I can source a new engine for her. <laughs> Okay, so I've got to bite the bullet and start on the antifoul, uh, sanding the antifoul down. It's a bit cooler today, so uh, today's a good day to start. And uh, it's about 10 o'clock, so I've been putting it off long enough. Uh, so I've got a choice. I can either put a Oompa Loompa suit on and uh, melt for the rest of the day, or I can go bare chested, shorts and old trainers. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it into a Smurf. Uh, see you later. And I am done for the day. So, you can't really see it on the camera, but I have turned blue. So I'm going to go for a shower. But, this is what I've done. And you can see the line on the hull, just there, where I've finished. So I've got the under side to do. So I've done about a third of the hull, I reckon, because I've got the same on the other side to do. And I've got the underneath to do in the keel. Uh, the keel, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, I'll show you. So, you can see here where I've sanded it, it's come back to bright metal. But all of this is epoxy filler. But here, obviously there's growth in there. I've got to try and get that out. And I'm going to try and get all this flaky filler off. So I'm thinking, a wire wheel to start off with, uh, 
and then treat it with some fungicide and then it's going to have to have um, it's got to be filled and fed isn't it same as it was so yeah it's going to be interesting but yeah look up close see where we've got to so it's not not too shabby for effectively half a day's work because it took me half a day to actually psych myself up to do it no osmosis which is brilliant achilles it's actually looking really, really good. Yes, there's a little, little chips and dings as you'd expect of a boat at this age, but nothing major and nothing that the epoxy primer can't deal with, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so I've got this side to do. So, this is the before shot effectively. So, I've got this side to do. Uh, and then the underside to do in the keel. So I reckon I've got another three or four days of sanding before we're ready to start um, prepping for paint. Not bad though. So, another day of sanding today. I've got this side to do now. So, it sounds like somebody else has got the same idea. So I've just charged up the camera. I've got some uh, 60 grit paper and I'm going to get cracking I think so yeah morning guys Saturday morning time to get the engine out so I have taken the sail off I put a hoist on there I fastened it in I'm now about to take these off and then we've just got uh, one wiring loom to get off and that, that engine is ready to lift I hope so we'll see so. one complete it's out so I'm gonna clean all this out now uh, it really comes from up there so okay clean all that out move this that way so we can start in here ah, lovely job Okay, might start. 
clean the engine mounts off first, get those ready, prepped, clean out in here, and then see where we go. It's starting to look a bit better, isn't it? I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner and just get some of these rust flakes up. But uh, the bottom of that was just a sticky tar. Um, but it's a question of how clean I need it really for the new engine to go in. Uh, put a little spruce up on the engine mounts. This engine mount over here, the bolt is absolutely um, rusted to the nut, so that's not coming off easily. Here's that other engine mount I was talking about, and you can see that it's um, yeah, it's not coming off easily. I might give it another go, but um, I need big grips on it, and uh, yeah, it's quite tight. I'll give it another go and see what I can do. Well, guys, it's ten past seven, and I've just driven through the night through to Athens to get the ferry to uh, Little Island where they have an engine for me so uh, yeah I uh, should have enough time to be able to get the engine and then get back on the next ferry back uh, so yeah so here we are uh, in the ferry